Thank you for your interest in the British Council Digital Library. Let us start by creating your account and signing into the app for the very first time. Visit your country's British Council Library website and register for an account. Once your account has been confirmed by our team, you will get two emails. The first email will be a confirmation of your digital library with your membership number. Use the link in the email to create your web login password. The second email will be from MyLoft and will have a link to create a password to log in to the digital library app. Make sure you use the same password you used earlier so it is easier to remember. Now open the App Store and download the MyLoft app. When you launch the MyLoft app, it will ask you to select an institution. Type and select British Council. Enter your email address and the newly created password to sign in. Scroll through the Starting Carousel Guide Now, let's set up your ebook reader for the first time. Open the App Store and download the Pocket Book Reader app. Launch the app, read through the terms and conditions, and then tap on Accept to continue. An account creation screen will appear. If you don't get this screen, then tap on the profile picture icon. We recommend that you use the same email address of your British Council Digital Library to create your account. Once you have signed in, under the account header, tap on Activate Adobe DRM. This will now allow you to open our ebooks in your ebook reader. If you missed this page, then you can easily return to it by tapping on the top right profile picture icon. You are now ready to download your first ebook. In this part, we are going to walk you through the process of downloading a fiction ebook and reading it in the Pocketbook Reader app. To open our collection, tap on the Fiction icon. You can now search, select, and download the ebook of your choice from here. A pop up from the bottom of the screen will confirm that the file has been downloaded. To read this book, you will need to tap on the Open In button. The Pocketbook Reader will open with your downloaded book. Let's also set up the Academic eBook section and download a book. Tap on the eBooks icon to open the main search page. From here, you can search for any subject or the name of an academic book you are looking for. Tap on the name of the book you want access to. You can either read it online right there or download it for offline access by tapping on the download book button. If you get a pop-up requesting you to sign in, tap on the create account button. Enter the same username and password you used earlier to make this account.
Now you can download the book and open it. Watching your first film. On the main screen of the app, tap on the Films icon to open our Content Partners page. When you tap on Checkout, a pop-up will appear. Tap on Access, another pop-up with a disclaimer will appear. Tap on the checkbox and tap the Continue button to acknowledge this disclaimer. This will now open the main page. If you are prompted to create a password, please enter the same password you use to access the digital library app. This will now log you in. Select any film to start watching. Now, let's watch and listen to your first concert video. Tap on the Concerts icon. Like with the film section, when you tap on Checkout, a pop-up will appear. Tap on Access to continue. Another pop-up with a disclaimer will appear. Tap on the checkbox and tap the Continue button to acknowledge this disclaimer. This will now open the main page. You will be prompted with a screen that has Create a Password button. Tap on the button and enter the same password you use to access the digital library app. This will now log you in. Select any track to watch and listen. Congratulations, your digital library app has now been set up. To find out more about the resources available, please go through our FAQ section.